tribe. Uh, we just got some pretty really cool news, but we yeah. we had uh, no warning, and the way we found out about it was uh, pretty funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we're uh, f we're featured on the front of Dread Central right now. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, what they look like on their site currently. I don't know if that's going to show up. Well, we'll put a, a screen grab on that one. Yeah, we should probably do a screen grab anyway. Here, from back here. <laughs> We're probably out of focus. But uh, there's Bridget in Dangerous to Know, and uh, then our headline about um, uh, Mike Flanagan, uh, the director of The Shining's sequel, which is Dr. Sleep, uh, and him backing our, our Kickstarter. Uh, and it's really, really cool that they picked it up, but um, no one told us that it was going to be picked up and it just went live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Okay, so uh, yeah, all that other stuff that we had in the video, yeah. Uh, so again, Dread Central, the story about uh, Mike, Mike Flanagan uh, backing us. So he's the director of uh, Doctor Sleep. Uh, oh, you know they changed the headline. I really like this. Doctor Sleep directed, director backed Kickstarter. It's so like we 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 had it for a more general audience that might have thought it was. Uh, uh, they, they, we did the Shining sequel because Doctor Sleep is literally the sequel to The Shining, like Stanley Kubrick's uh, uh, The Shining, and um, and so uh, I like this because that's horror. So they just went with Doctor Sleep because those guys would know. Uh, but uh, while we were so here's us about to put that other video up. Yep, I'm just I'm just uploading it right now into a new Finder. Yeah, so this just came. Uh, out and then we get this very long letter from Mike Flanagan and we haven't read it yet uh, so you're getting a live reaction so if he threatens to sue us <laughs> you'll see you'll see her no we're not we won't show that uh, but anyway um, yeah so I, I, I probably shouldn't show the letter right should I read it uh, a few minutes ago Complete coincidence. Um, yeah. What what can people do? Just share it around a lot? Yeah, share, share it. With... It's easy to share. It has a big share button on it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll post a link to it on Facebook. We'll post one on Instagram. Uh, we'll post it even on YouTube. Go uh, read it. Yeah. Share it. Go read it. Share it. It's really cool. Um, that'll, that should help us. Uh, okay. Tell them how it happened. It was funny. Well, you. what were you doing? Uh, I am going to, or I'm trying to, uh, screen dangerous to know here in vancouver asap as soon as possible uh yeah we're gonna try to get uh a screening um as as quick as we can so we can put it in front of an audience so uh we found some theaters and uh we decided that's really important i've gotta gotta put it in front of the people so yeah. uh i'm working on that and while we were doing it we talked about um who might come to the screening and we thought well only local people Right. And then we thought, well, you know, we could we could mention it to the backers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it occurred to me that once we told uh, our actors, or we, I mean, we we told everybody, right? We posted and made videos about it. That it's uh, quite public. At yeah, this it's, point. it's quite public that um, that Mike Flanagan had uh, had backed the Kickstarter and just been awesome that day. Uh, and when we said that he was. Um, uh, the creator and the director of uh, The Haunting of Hill House, it was funny that uh, uh, one of the actors that's in the movie and then another actor who is a, is a producer in our movie, um, that uh, they both said that they had auditioned. So mm -hmm. we, we, had, we didn't even realize that was filmed locally. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he, he created it, but he also directed all 11 episodes of the first season. I don't know when they're going to do the, the second season or if they're even filming now. And it occurred to me, well, if he's in Vancouver, I mean, maybe he could actually go. I don't yeah. know. Uh, and then we thought, well, Dr. Sleep kind of looked like it might be uh, filmed in Vancouver. We weren't sure. Mm -hmm. And so you went to go look that up. It wasn't. Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta got the honor. Yeah. So I usually would just completely just blow past IMDb page. and It's like, I, I'm not going to read it the way that they have it. I go into view full site, just go right to the bottom. But this time I was like, you know what? I'll just read it the way it is. <laughs> the, the mobile site? The mobile site. Yeah. Because I, I don't like reading mobile sites. And, and then, then all of a sudden I just see related news at the bottom yeah. of uh, the box office. 
and then I see the but headline. Cut to what Jenny sees on her phone. What right I see now. on my phone. Yeah. And then I see the headline, and it's like Dr. Sleep director back Kickstarter movie, unaware film character is named in his honor. Hmm. And I'm like, that sounds very familiar. It sounds very familiar. <laughs> and then I clicked on it, I was like, oh shit, it has English to know on it. That's our stuff. You have to, you have to bleep. Or else, well, we're not monetizing anyway. We're Just leave monetizing. it on there. We'll leave it on. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Holy what? <laughs> this is rated R. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so then she clicked on it and we saw that it was um, uh, Dread Central. And Dread Central's uh, a big deal. I mean, if you're not, I guess if you don't follow horror, you might not have heard of it. But uh, any, yeah. anybody that follows um, uh, dark psychological thrillers or horrors it is aware of it and it's right on the front right on the front page it's, and it's right at the front yeah it's really cool and um and it has bridget's picture there and mm -hmm. uh and uh so thank you to for picking that up guys yeah. uh but uh yeah we didn't know the press release was gonna uh happen it's followed by uh all the acquisitions people at um at and netflix, netflix just, and uh the just people everyone that, yeah, just everyone, just all the, all the people that, uh, all the people that that do this job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, all the people that need to know about dangerous to know, and yeah, um, and so it's it's uh, it's awesome. So we wanted to share that. It's very exciting, um, and uh, other exciting things happened. But this video will be super long if we go into all of them. Uh, well, we can maybe some part of it up. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll read it and then we'll see. Yeah, you can edit it. See what he says. Uh, so, hey Jennifer and David, ah, you guys. I had no idea you named a character after me in the movie. That's what we said. He didn't know. Uh, that's insane. Like really insane. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I dug a little further into your project, thought it over, and felt compelled to increase it. I don't know how he increased it, but wow, what an. I admit, uh, I admire what you're doing and how you're doing it. You, you guys are trying to do something very difficult, and I remember the Kickstarter scramble well. One thing we learned in our campaign was that it really paid off to generate as many video updates as we could. I did one every few days for the final month, and it seemed to help. We also asked each of the cast to send their video to all their friends, family, and followers at once with a personal message. But we only asked them to do it one time, and only when their video was released. That way, we got to have almost 10 different targeted pledge drives without ever directly asking someone for money more than once. Don't know if that's helpful or even necessary. It's just something that worked for us almost a decade ago. Very good tip. Thank you. And maybe, because this guy is a big deal, <laughs> the actors will listen. So they don't listen to me. No, I'm just kidding. You guys are, the actors are amazing and, and I mean, we still haven't even shared Andrews. I know, it's about, that's exactly what I was about to do. Yeah, you were, yeah, that's right, you were doing that. Um, we're doing a million things at once, but this is obviously amazing. So, uh, yeah, Andrew, great wall. Hello, into friends. Guess where I am. I'm on a wall. I just wanted to make a quick video to say thank you for all of the support that's come out for Dangerous to Know. Whatever, Andrew. Great wall. Big deal. <laughs> Froze your butt off to get that video on the Great Wall. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew, for that video. It's amazing. I think you guys are off to a great start. It was a full-time job to be crowdfunding, that's for sure. Uh, at least for us. So I know you're probably in the thick of it, and I hope you guys have a positive result. I know it's tough, so hang in there. It's awesome that you already made the film, which is the hardest part. But you're right, getting it out there is brutally challenging. Very much looking forward to seeing the movie. The best uh, to all of you guys. It's so cool to see someone chasing their dreams so passionately. Oh my god, I might cry. Uh, that really is the most important thing. If you keep that attitude up, no matter how it goes for this campaign uh, or for this movie, can you believe this person? This is a human being who's real and uh, you'll succeed in the end. It's tough because the industry is designed to make you feel crazy and delusional and all of that, so keep it up. Don't quit ever. I didn't, I didn't write this. <laughs> I'm not pretending. This is really him. Uh, and it's so great that this kind of work is something you can share in your marriage, yeah. I am lucky enough to work with my wife the same way. We knew that. That's actually true, he does, that's really neat. And it makes all the difference in the world in those moments when a different partner might think you're crazy for persisting. Um, J J you're a saint. Jenny's holding the camera right now. Um, why are you holding the camera? You should be on camera with me. Uh, you are- here's, here's my hand. You're a saint for, for keeping 
because I mean, my goodness, right? What we've done and, but you stuck with it. Best of luck to you guys. And sometime down the line, when it all works out and you're more established in the industry, be sure to pay it forward. Oh, you better believe it. Because of you, Mike, we learned. And keep in touch. Would love to see the movie and hear how things work out. You can email me anytime. All right, well, there we go. We've got his email, which I'm not showing everybody. <laughs> Make it public. Uh, okay, and I mean that was a beautiful message. I don't know how much well, of this we're you know, in the video. it just feels like he's been through it, and it sounds exactly what you thought about you know filming. Yeah, how we, tough it is. Yes, he he understood it. Uh, Thank you, Mike. That is crazy. Thank he, you. He understood it perfectly. Yeah, your movies are amazing, and you inspire us, and therefore <laughs> we name a character after you, which you did not know. Yeah. Which is crazy. I just like, I'll, I'll write to Mike to see what he thinks. And, uh, crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, we didn't do it to try and get anything out of it. No, uh, it, just... it really was just because this guy was making Oculus and, um... We read I mean, how uh, Absentia was made and everything. Yeah. And it's just like, all right, let's try it. Yeah, because he, is... he did it. He had a, they did the Kickstarter. Yep. Uh, their movie Absentia was successful enough that he got to make a big movie. Um, Oculus, yeah. An Oculus with Karen Gillan, and and the movie was very good. It's excellent if you haven't seen it. I mean, Check even if out. you even if you don't like horror, I think you'll it's, like that. It's very it's, good. The guy is really good, and so the so the that movie. You're is still excellent. talking, and I'm I'm on camera now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. This is how it works. Yeah, yeah. We're amazing at this. I, I won't shut up. True. It, it's a yeah. It's a it's a really really excellent movie though. Yeah. It's so good. And so we had seen that, and I think Hush had, I Hush came out while we were location scouting. Yeah, and we actually watched Hush, uh, the night before we went. Yeah. Uh, location scouting, and we were at that house that it was super fucking creepy. Yeah. Is it? If you ever, and um. We couldn't sleep that night because it was so scary. That yeah. house, and we're like, oh my god, this is like hush. Yeah. So, yeah. I, we, it's we, just crazy. I we mean, did, we didn't end up using that. <laughs> that house, we used a yeah. different, very, very so scary house. So Mike Flanagan was part of this movie, and he yeah. didn't even know it, yeah. and we didn't even know that we ever have contact with you. It's yeah. insane. Uh, here, let me put this down for the last part. And you gotta come over and be in the shot with me. Okay. Boom. Uh, so that is, uh, mm, so that is what happened. Yeah. Uh, amazing. I, like I, I'm, it was, uh, it just felt right to have a character named after him. And, uh, and it was, it's just because in spirit he was there. Uh, and I guess he was a, he was a friend before we even knew it. So, uh, wow, that's magical. Mm. So magical. All right. Mike, I, I, I only wish you'd had a mic because <laughs> it does make it a lot easier to go through. So thank you. And thank you, Tribe. Uh, okay, share the heck out of this. Yeah. Let's do this.